here. I thought today would be really fun to film a day in the life of a UX designer, especially for those of you who are interested in the field and kind of want to get an insight into our lives as designers. And so right now I'm working from home, so I thought it would be great to kind of walk you through my life, my day-to-day -day tasks, and give you an idea of what it's like. What you saw me do right now was my morning routine, and what we have next is a morning workout with my sister. I try to get a hit cardio session every day. Not really looking forward to today, but we gotta do what we gotta do sometimes. So we're gonna get started with that. Ready Trish? Yep. What are we working out on today? Today is hit day with the Peloton app. Woo! Woo! And she got her yoga mat ready and everything. Yep. I usually like to start the day off being active. These days, when you're working from home, you don't get to move your body around as much as you normally would working at an office. So usually, I'll do an hour of hit cardio session in the mornings using my Peloton app, and then after that, I'll take a shower. After I'm done cleaning up, I'll start getting ready, which would normally mean just changing into my loungewear attire, but for the sake of this video, I'll put on my makeup for today, just like I would have going into the office. And voila, this is my everyday makeup look. I usually take about 10 to 20 minutes to get ready to do my makeup every morning. Usually I keep it pretty simple because people in tech don't normally dress up that much, so there's not so much of a high bar for me. Um, but yeah, now I'm ready to go upstairs. When you're working from home, it's important to try to have a dedicated office space separate from where you'd relax. So for me, that's my upstairs loft. First though, I need my hot tea. It's what I always start my work day with. My day usually starts at 9.30. I always sit down and check my emails, calendar, and any Slack messages I have first. Each day is different depending on what my project is, but usually I'll take time to go through the tasks I prioritized, and for today, I got a brand new project, so that means it's wireframing time. Wireframing is basically a rough sketch that shows you a very basic level detail of what you want the interface and flow to look like. I use an app called GoodNotes for my wireframes, but you can also use a simple pen and paper. I like to take my lunch around 12 p.m. and give myself about an hour to eat, relax, or watch TV. It's lunchtime, my favorite part of the day. Usually, basically, any part of the day that involves eating is my favorite part, but today I'm having beef and broccoli, a healthy choice, and this is really simple to make. I usually like to eat the same things pretty much on the weekdays, but I have about one hour to kind of relax, watch some TV, I like to watch Love Island, and then I have a meeting again after this, so time to relax. Oh, breaks always go by so fast. After my break is over, which by the way, always feels like it goes by so fast, I have afternoon meetings with my team, manager, or product managers to review designs and go over any feedback that they might have. Some days I'll take another break in the afternoon by going on walks around the neighborhood with my sister. For the rest of the afternoon, I'll work on the higher fidelity designs on my computer. When I'm working on designs, I'm usually in the zone for a few hours. At the end of the day, my team and I will write our updates on what we worked on for the day in a Slack channel. I'll close my computer around 6 or 7 p.m. and then I'll head out of the office, or in this case, just downstairs in my kitchen.